A good communicator affects our physiology. The power of voice can entrance us, even induce or remove pain. I came to the old operating theatre at London Bridge. You're all medical students? Yeah. yeah. Have you been here before? It is a remarkable place. This is where they used to perform amputation, amputation. Imagine yourself. Imagine delirious, yourself. Delirious. Delirious. With fear. With fear. There's no anaesthetic. Just hold you down. Hold you down. Hold you down. And hope that you'd just pass out before they'd finished. So I want to try something with all of you. And while it may be a bit disturbing, I can absolutely guarantee your safety. If you don't want to do this, that's absolutely fine. You can say so. But if you do, once you're in, you're in. And there's no going back. All right? Are you all happy to do this? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? No. You don't want to do it? No. Sure? Yeah. Absolutely fine. I'm going to make your way back out there. So let's begin. It's very easy to get an idea in somebody's head. Do you study dentistry as part of the course? No. No? The whole area of toothache is an interesting one. But often what happens is the nerves, the actual base of the tooth, like right, you know, right in there, right where the base of the tooth would be, go bad, right in there. You must have had really bad toothache. The first sort of tingling feeling that you get, I mean, what's it like? How do you describe this sort of toothache pain? Constant pain. Yeah? yeah. You're feeling that now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What's that like? Sharp down straight across. Mm -hmm. You're genuinely feeling that now? I'm genuinely feeling it. Mm -hmm. Straight down. So this is the sort of thing that can spread. You're getting it in your gums or is it in the teeth yeah, itself? It's also everywhere. Yeah. It's down your jaw. Right down your jaw. Mm -hmm. And when it gets worse, and it gets worse. And suddenly it's gone. And gone. And you don't feel anything at all. It's like it's anaesthetized. You feel nothing. Nothing at all. Like in the back of your hand there. It's like a blueness. It's like a blueness in the hand. No, nothing. <laughs> Try pinching it. What's it like? Nothing clammy and not responsive at all. Imagine you can probably feel your wrist, can you? Or you can feel your arm. Yeah. And you really not feel that? Seriously. Would you be happy to, you know, bash that or twist it really hard or stick something through it? Yeah. Would you be happy to stick a needle through it? Yeah. Would you be happy to do that now? If I gave you a needle? Yeah. Just to show us that really is dead. You'd be happy? Yeah. <laughs> These are sterilised hypodermic needles. You want to hold that in that hand. You really can't feel that, can you? Seriously. Absolutely dead. It's just like a piece of dead meat on the table. It's like sticking a needle through a piece of dead meat. Go and just push it through. You should right through and out the other side. Right through. Oh my. Uh, you can't feel a thing, can you? No. How does it make you feel? Weird. That is. Weird. Just a dead hand. Have you ever seen anything like that before? No. And you're not bleeding? You're completely happy with that? Completely happy with that. You pull it back out, gently. No blood. No bleeding. Now the feeling's gonna come back in your hand now. There'll be no pain. You find you can start moving your fingers now and moving your hand. I saw the needle there, and then it just came back out the other side and thinking, now this really should be hurting, but just nothing at all. When you took the needle out, you just couldn't see anywhere that the needle had been. I was really surprised. I thought, you know, there'd be some blood at least. It was an amazing experience. Impressed. Very, very impressed.